He's been treading the boards and following the yellow brick road. Jason Ranford is a roaring success playing the much-loved Cowardly Lion in a modernised Wizard of Oz on the West End. And another big role for Jason is that of the best man at weddings, which is a subject of his latest podcast with friend Steve Edge, who were in fact each other's best man. Yeah, I've been Steve's. Oh, yeah, so we were just saying, so Jason's here, obviously. Mm. You've been a best man. Yeah, yeah, right? I was Steve's best man. You were Steve's. And he was mine. Right, the thing is, when you're a comedian, a well-known comedian, mm -hmm. you are expected to push the bar, aren't you? you you've got to make it funny, People risky. start sitting, getting chairs on the front. Oh, here we yes, go. Yes, exactly, yeah, exactly. Start, there is a bit of an extra... Uh, but uh, to be honest, the best man speeches, you know, so we, we, we chat about it, obviously, a lot in the uh, on the podcast. It's... It's not a comedy routine necessarily. There are funny stories to be had and stuff like that, and you've got to know your audience, like, like we were just saying there. But, you know, it's also, you know, a moment. It's, it's the, you, for a lot of men, it's the only time you really say to another man, I love you, yeah. you know, as, as friends, you know. And also, you know, remember that story when we handcuffed you to a lamppost in Amsterdam? Or what, you know, there's lots yes. of different takes on it. But that's the thing, though, isn't it? Comedy between blokes, right, is different to comedy that you say in front of your parents-in-law, right? Absolutely. Isn't it? And I think that that's sometimes a best man speech where everyone goes, oh, no, he's not... He's not going to tell that one, is he? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, hang on. No, my mum's in the room. You know, and I think that's the moment, isn't it, that the podcast is all about those <gasps> oh, squeaky, squeaky bum moments. Yeah, there's a lot of those misjudged oh, right. stories, speeches, you know, moments where, um, you know, jokes that, you know, people were doing, like, in the 60s and 70s. <laughs> that, that <laughs> Mother-in-law joke. Now, you know, Dawson, thought, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, there's definitely... But it's wedding season, more. so it's the perfect time for the podcast. Oh, it's great, and and, the, and it's going really well, and, and it's a, a, a really rich subject for, for comedy and... It's for, a really important point, though, isn't it, with best man speeches. People enjoy a great man, best man yeah. speech, but then you forget it. But a bad oh, best man speech... I mean, there was one I yeah. was at where, genuinely, the bride's mother was in tears and the father got up and threatened to have a fight. Wow. In Because what the best man Tough had said crowd. about exes was, like, <laughs> yeah. way, yeah, way beyond <gasps> the yeah. pale. So, um, it is getting that... It is judging it and getting it right, and some people do not... What's uh, the worst you've been at? ..get it right. I Thankfully, touch wood, I've not seen the worst... I mean, Steve, uh, when he was my best man, he did a lovely speech, but he did, um, he did set fire to the speech halfway through it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> just with those little candles knocking around. Oh, by accident? Yeah, oh, yeah, no, oh, no. It was like a magic <laughs> trick. <laughs> He's like, no one should ever read that again. Um, no, no, it was just an accident. But, um, yeah, the, on, the, on the podcast, we, we speak to some uh, guys who very much got it wrong. Uh, some stag do's that were horrendous. You know, one, one stag do, a Welsh stag do that ended up in the middle of a riot at the G20 summit in Hamburg. Uh, just, you know, dressed up in latex and, you know... Amazing. ..French maids. Um, we got some lads last week who um, <laughs> had to try and cycle back from Amsterdam because they were they, they missed their flights. Um, oh, fantastic. We had a great one with Jess Snappett, who's a brilliant comedian, who um, she uh, was a best woman to her, her brother's... Yes, of course, uh, yeah. Um, po uh, ..and uh, wedding. And she was the only single person there. And she really made me laugh. She said she was the only single person there, so the bride just handed her the bouquet, you know, <laughs> instead of throwing it. <laughs> Feels a bit really desperate. Yeah. Get on with it. Yeah, I so. think the key to a best man's speech is to make people cry with joy and exactly. sentiment. Don't go for comedy. I mean, definitely, I think if you're good at comedy and it's something and you are funny and often you've been picked because you are a funny yes. person, then absolutely go for it and have fun and, and, know, and know your crowd, you know. Yeah. Um, and most of them get it really right, you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. um, I think also the, the bit of heartstrings and getting people on stage. I think that's you always can really, the key. You can really cut through uh, to people's hearts when you've made them laugh first. Yeah, uh, well, so, I suppose that's the key to know, comedy, isn't it? You, yeah. tell, you tell truths but yeah. couched in comedy, and that's the power of comedy, isn't it? Yeah. But, um, talking yeah. of and other... Keep it short as well. That's keep it, that's the other thing. <laughs> yeah. Keep it yeah, there's short. a free bar. Than, keep it short. Minutes, don't we? <laughs> Nobody wants, no one's ever got to the end of a best man speech and thought, yeah. I wish that was longer. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, listen, you as uh, the, the courageous line. Now, listen, you've said that when he's, the line's been described as the best friend of Dorothy over the years, people yes. haven't realised that the line is gay. Do you think so? You is think that so? what you, I, I've read this? I don't think... Are you playing a gay lion I... in Wizard of Oz? Uh, <laughs> that's the randomest question. Um, I don't think any of their sexuality comes up in the subject. If, if I mean, he's a friend of Dorothy, yes. which obviously is now used as a, Cowardly, as a, as a yeah, uh, now now used as a phrase to describe uh, what gay people used to describe themselves. But um, he's the original uh, friend of Dorothy. He's yeah, the original but, yeah. friend of Dorothy. Yeah, but I don't. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't think he's... He doesn't get a boyfriend at the end of it no. or anything, you know. It's not a camp, We've not... a camp no, lion. But... No, no. If you've got a, um, a modern <laughs> reworking of the story yes. and you say a friend of Dorothy, it's a natural... Oh, there's a gag in it, don't get me yeah. wrong. Yeah, there's a gag to be had, but um, he's... Uh... Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. It's not. It's not really. A, it's just a family show, isn't it? That we're having a bit of fun with. But if there's another uh, lion out there, who knows what might happen to him? <laughs> yeah. A bit of improv at the end of the show. I know you could be best men. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly, exactly. No, it's it's a it's a lovely production, um, and we uh, we're having a great time at the Palladium. Um, and it's you know it's the original the book. It's 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 using elements mm. of the film. Um, and uh, and I'm you know I've watched a lot of Bert Lahr, uh, who who played the, the the lion in the in the in the movie and music, yeah the the oh. band's fantastic and the singing's great and we got I mean I've it, been to Wicked nine times oh, it's so oh really nice. nine that times much. which of course is based upon the Wizard yes, of Oz yes of course yeah but is this an even better show than Wicked well Wicked's a, a phenomena yeah. you know can you hit uh, that top note so, like Adina Menzel yeah, that's no, the thing thank, isn't it thankfully no yeah. uh, it, it doesn't come up but um, no it's it's a it's a lovely show that if you've if You've seen the original film, it's got yeah. elements of that. What's lovely is we're getting a lot of kids, a lot of families in. Brilliant. And this is their first experience of... Oh, uh, well, you never Oz. forget it. I remember so the first time special. I went to the theatre to see Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Oh, yeah. And I remember it's... I was about five. Yeah. But it does leave an imprint on you because it is absolute yeah. magic and yeah. fantasy. Yeah, no, it's a wonderful It's a wonderful fantastic show. Now, we've got to ask you, we're having this debate today. Oh, there's yeah. a survey which says <clears throat> that um, northern um, women are oh, yeah. funnier... Ooh. than southern men, and that actually being northern makes you funnier. <laughs> and in your experience... I'm um, sure they just do these to who create are an the, argument, don't they? Who is the funniest um, comedian colleague of yours backstage, before you go out on stage? Who's the funniest person? I think the funniest comedian uh, is Lee Mack. Yeah. Who is a southerner. He's a, he's a very much a northern... He's a northerner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so he's a, he's a northern fella. But... I don't know, really. Northern women, though, there's been a long heritage of very funny northern... I always think of Hilda Ogden. Corrie has always been funnier than EastEnders. I think it's just because it's got funny northern <laughs> brassy women in it. And yeah, then you've got Victoria everyone Wood. Can, everyone can afford their own home in Coronation Street. And <laughs> the pints are only £2. The funniest <laughs> member of Parliament I knew was Alan Johnson, who is a Londoner, but, of course, yeah. he is a member of Parliament for Hull. So maybe right. going north was what turned his comedy. I don't, I don't know wh whether there's a massive uh, geographical div divide in, in, in whether people are Are you Mancunian? Are I'm Man Manchester, yeah. But, you know, naturally, people often say, oh, you know, Northerners are, are funnier. I, I think it's the, the accent as well and the homeliness and the friendly... The, you know, we are friendlier, I guess, outside of London. I think I think the North-South divide for me is not a, not a big thing. I certainly don't notice it when I'm on tour. But there's definitely a London and everywhere else divide. And I think it's that rather than a North-South and it's the uh, warmth and the sort of self-deprecating But people are just busy here. It's London and everyone's head down, get to work, get, get on with things, you know what I mean? Like, everyone's just on it. We're in the capital, we've got stuff to do. So we can't be sitting around having a laugh. Got to get to the Palladium. There you go. They're all saying what a pro for, That's what for they're a saying. 7.30 start. That's right, come and have a Jason look at Jason Manford them. being a... Um, a gay lion, apparently. A gay lion. A gay lion. <laughs> if, if you a gay... Imagine. Why not? Why not? A non-binary lion? <laughs> we'll go that way. A pansexual lion. Come a on, pansexual come have a watch, lion. Yeah. Whatever you, whatever it's the modern <laughs> twist. It's the modern twist. Go and find out. Super stuff. Thank you so much, <laughs> Jason. Good you. luck with the podcast. Good luck with the, the show. Cheers. All good stuff. You're a very busy you. man.